Hi there everybody, Thailand Phil here and today we're going to visit Canterbury Bookstore. Phil is already there so we're going to pop off now and go and join him. Thanks ever so much Phil. Here we are at Canterbury Tales, bookshop, cafe and guest house. We're going to meet one of the owners called Dave and he's going to tell us all about his shop. Hi guys, I'm Dave from Canterbury Tales Bookshop and Cafe and Guest House. Hi guys, I'm Ron from Canterbury Tales Bookshop and Guest House. The bookshop is next door to the Triangle Bar. Very well known. After nine o'clock they have live groups on in here. Music, dancing. We started Canterbury Tales about 14 plus years ago and it was um, one of about five bookshops at the time in Patea. Now I'm glad to say we're the only used bookshop in Patea, uh, English language bookshop. And basically you, um, you bring in a book that you finish with, it could be from here or from anywhere else, and you can trade that book in. And when you bring the books back from us, you get 50% credit, which you can spend on other books. And as I said, you can trade in books from anywhere else. Um, we have sections on just about anything, business, uh, other books. And as I said, you can trade in books from anywhere else. Um, we have sections on just about anything, business, um, true crime, um, war, biographies, sport. We have a classic section with the old, the classic books. Um, so yes, we have a very good range. We have probably 30,000 books here. Um, and all priced on the back and so on. We also do snacks, teas and coffees. And we also have guest house rooms above the bookshop. The, the rooms range from small rooms from sort of 400 baht a night. Deals for longer, for a month and we right up to big rooms at 550 600 a night but mostly we do monthly bookings now because of the um, new restrictions on the uh, guest house rules we have free wi-fi here and in the rooms they all obviously have aircon uh, tvs dvd players free wi-fi as i say um, and we're not open 24 hours we open between 9 a.m to 6 p.m uh, for the bookshop, but the rooms are obviously available all the time. As you can see, there are many, many shelves full of paperbacks. Many of them almost brand new. Here's my favourite author. which is Clive Cussler. So I'll be getting a few of them today. Take back, sit around the swimming pool and read. As you can see, this goes way, way back into the uh, shop. And there is just lots and lots of books for you to choose. Pop in, they're really friendly people here. They've got a little cafe where you can sit down and have a drink. You can obviously get food in from the food carts. They also do some English food here. 
and you'll find that almost everyone in here because they're English books you're gonna find expats and also newbie people to Thailand who have bought a book in the uh, UK airport they've read it they don't want it anymore perhaps they didn't enjoy it well these guys here will give you credit for one of those books bring them in they are as they say really friendly they will help you you're not going to get a fortune on on the credit you you get 50 percent of what they would normally sell it for but certainly worthwhile doing I mean look at all of these books almost down to the floor so don't go to the the Asia bookshop in in the malls and things there's no need to come here come and get your books you don't pay very much for them So, so a beer bar across the road lots of food carts so grab some food come over chat to everybody there's bars out here so this is a bookshop with a view to say the least this soul used to be known as pothole alley because of all the potholes and if you watch Kevin uh, in Thailand's blogs, you see that uh, they tarmacked it a while ago. And it's a lot better to walk along. You don't end up tripping. Thanks ever so much, Phil, for uh, doing that for us. Um, taking some time out and uh, interviewing people. What an incredible number of second-hand books. And so cheap. I hope you've enjoyed this blog especially the one that uh, Phil did, uh, interviewing everybody and showing us around. I stayed in the condo. Uh, I had a lazy, uh, lazy lunch hour. If you've enjoyed, then please press the like button. Perhaps you'd like to subscribe. See uh, all my video blogs as soon as they come out. Really would be appreciated. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. It's Thailand Phil saying... Bye-bye. Bye-bye.